Hey, Max. Hey, Alistair. Hey, Elliot. Wait, Elliot? Where's Elliot? Elliot is missing? Not me, but someone else might be in our book of the week. Oh. That's right. We have all sorts of great activities, tips, and interviews based on our book of the week. So don't go anywhere. It's Miss Nelson. Miss Nelson is missing. She sure is. So what do we think, boys? I loved it. So in the story, there's this awesome teacher named Miss Nelson, and she's basically the sweetest person ever. But her students take her for granted until one day she's mysteriously replaced with the sinister Viola Swamp. That's right. Let's take a look at what we learned this week. In Book Talks, Denise Ortiz, a second grade teacher, shares with us how she uses Miss Nelson is Missing in her classroom and all the fun activities she does with her students. Miss Ortiz loves using this book in the beginning of the school year to teach her students about classroom expectations, following the rules, and respecting the teacher and other students. How would you track down a missing teacher? And cooked up from a book, you can flex your creative and critical thinking skills and write a story about what you would do if you were a student in room 207. Okay, so for my activity, I wrote about a teacher that I used to have, Mr. Roy. It's loosely based around him. So he's our science teacher, and one day he goes missing. And one on one of my favorite days, and that day is the day we we're supposed to dissect a frog. So we form a task force with three parts. The first part is the phone team in charge of calling all known associates of Mr. Roy. The second part is the ideas team. And what do they do? They come up with ideas. The third team is the internet team. They are in charge of searching the internet for any trace of Mr. Roy. So here's my activity that I wrote down. What lengths would you go to to find your teacher? Let us know in the comments. behind the scenes, we take a look into Harry Allard and James Marshall's lives to see how they came up with this book and what it meant to them. So I'm going to share my three favorite things I learned this week. Number one, Harry met James in college where Harry was a French professor and James took his class. Number two, Miss Nelson and Miss Swamp are both based on real teachers. And number three, when Harry had the idea for the story, he called James at three in the morning and exclaimed, Miss Nelson is missing. If you want to learn more fun things about Harry, James, and Miss Nelson, be sure to check out the full article. You know, guys, I was a pretty good student. Me too. Max, what about you? Well, I was a bit of a daydreamer, but no, I was a good student. Really? Yeah, well, definitely better than the students in room 207. Oh, yeah, they were definitely mischievous. Yeah, in the book, Miss Nelson's class was misbehaving. So she stood up in front of the class and said in her sweet voice, now settle down. But they didn't listen. The next morning, Miss Nelson didn't show up to school. Instead, a very strict substitute teacher showed up named Miss Viola Swamp. And she meant business. Right away, she put them to work and loaded them down with homework. Yeah, and then days went by. The kids began to worry about Miss Nelson. They wondered what could have happened to her and started to come up with some pretty crazy scenarios. Maybe she was gobbled up by a shark. Maybe Miss Nelson went to Mars. Maybe Miss Nelson's car was carried off by a swarm of angry butterflies. The kids in room 207 became very discouraged. And then, wait, we don't want to give it all away. Oh, that's right. You'll have to read it yourself to find out how the book ends. We're so excited for you to check out Miss Nelson is Missing, along with all the activities and videos on the blog. Let us know what you learned in the comments. Oh, I get it. I know where Miss Nelson was the whole time. Where? No, 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 no. Don't, don't tell me. I want to I'm figure it out. Boy. Yeah, that's me. I'm a book boy. I'm a, I'm a book boy. Oh, yeah. We love to read. 